Rob, obviously back at, at home this weekend on the, the back of what was a, a very long trip for you last weekend, but how has the, the move been with the, the boys this week in, in training off? Obviously what you know you mentioned, it's not all doom and gloom, but a couple of rough kind of results for you. Yeah, no, it's good. I think um, lads' response of, to probably a bit of criticism from myself for the first time after the game has been excellent. I know it's a strength for this group. They take criticism really well and understand it's coming from a place of uh, betterment and improvement um, and I think ultimately we know we need to start games better get through them first periods when teams feel like they've got a chance of punishing us because after that we completely dominate even reflection on the oval game still dominated the game dominated the ball ultimately didn't uh, deserve to win because in the key moments the oval were better but um, yeah we need to have that understanding that we need to deal with moments better and have that better strength and mentality about us to nullify what nullify teams' exuberance at the beginning of the game, to then get control and make sure that we're on the front foot and not chasing the game. Yeah, and you mentioned the sort of starter games and, and needing to, to start games better. Is that something you can really work on specifically in, in terms of actual physical patterns and stuff like that on the training pitch, or is it more just an approach on the mentality side? Um, both, both. We, uh, I think the biggest reflection I took from Yeovil is that. You know, as much as I'm a big believer in the process we've been going through, that process doesn't have to be uh, a copycat of everything we've done previously. So, you know, uh, I think the biggest thing that going forward from Saturday is the team's going to reflect um, myself, uh, my ideas, and the way I feel that we need to play and what we need to do to improve. So, I think that's the biggest takeaway for me going forward is that I want to see more of what my and Louis and Mags's identity is and what we want to see from the squad more. And we've got to look to adapt and change to make sure that, you know, uh, those early moments that have been causing issues, we need to nullify that both mentally, tactically, physically, um, in all the different ways you, you you can. And with Dorkin, the the visitors to the the stadium tomorrow, I think them themselves have, have been going through a bit of a, a kind of patchy run of form, possibly if you want to describe it as as such, but I think they've took points from quite a few of the teams up right at the, the top of the league. I think, well, memory serves, I think there were a couple of goals ahead against Barnet in the first half before they came back and, and ended up winning 3-2 a few weeks ago. But what are you expecting from them in particular? Yeah, I think they'll, they'll come with their own density. You know, they're, they're sort of front foot in your face. Um, they like to play, they like to go long. You know, they mix it up really well. So they're a really tough team to play against and it can take a while to get hold of the game. But I actually think after the basis of everything that's gone on, um, the last two or three games, I think it's the perfect team for us to play against because it really will um, stretch and test everything we need to be tested. Um, you know, we talk about not being all doom and gloom. You know, it's still early November and the season doesn't finish to April. You know, you're going to have ups and downs. There's going to be patches that we need to work through, and we need to work through this patch. But I'm a big believer that um, you know you work hard, you keep doing the right things, you'll come through it, and you'll come through it better and stronger. Um, and that's the message for the for the boys this week is. Uh, let's take this uh, opportunity to become more resilient, mentally tougher and ultimately a better team. Yeah, and, and when it's a, a game between a couple of teams who, who haven't been winning as much as they, they would like, do you really kind of feel like that changes anything in terms of the actual game itself? I suppose some people can kind of spin it either way where they might say that you know it's, it's teams that are more hungry to get a win, whereas others might say there's a lack of confidence or something like that. Yeah, there's nothing, I think everyone will know, there's no lack of desire or confidence or anything with these lads. Um, I think they're they're ultimately always on the front foot, always trying to do the right thing, and we need to, we maybe need to be a bit more cautious of that in terms of our structure and our shape. But um, no, I think probably a bit of clarity and a bit of hindsight in terms of the situation we're in last year at this point, and you know where the club's grown and developed and where we've got to. That you know, it's not always going to be plain sailing, but I genuinely believe these are the periods and the moments where individuals can step up um, and the team can step up and learn and evolve and develop and. Um, and ultimately win games because we need to learn how to win games more often in different in difficult circumstances under difficult circumstances so for me with the lads and the group we've got there's no issues at all with them in terms of the way we play there's no issues we'll always be brave we'll always look to play out we'll always look to dominate the ball dominate possession but I think we need to structurally um, and our concepts need to change a little bit to to maybe disrupt teams who pretty much come to stop us playing now, whether it's home or away, teams seem to set up to stop us. And it's a huge credit to the lads that they've got to that level, but now they need to adapt and go forward from that. And, and that's what we need to do Saturday.
Yeah, and then how is everyone sort of looking in, in terms of the, the fitness picture at the moment? Obviously, Carl and, and Tinks are the, the long-term sort of absentees at the moment. Mags and uh, Tinks are going to be out long-term. Hopefully, Tinks can be looking to be back, hopefully, end of March time. Um, so, not going to rule him out for the season, but pretty much a big chunk of it. Um, he does need an operation. So, yeah, squad's responsibility to get around him, obviously, to get around Mags and his... his uh, transition into a into a coach now from being a player um, but yeah other than that there's a few little niggles and, and, and bashes and bumps so we'll see, we'll see tomorrow how everyone is and assess from there but um, we've got a heavy period coming up before Christmas with the trophy and Saturday Tuesday games and the Chesterfield games we chucked in there so I think the one thing I've said to the lads is you know there's gonna be a lot of going forward a lot of rotation I want freshness all the time with lads who um, can come in to be fresh, to keep that intensity levels and to make sure that we're always on the front foot and always pushing forward. Um, and I think that's a, that's a good carrot to everyone to stay, stay sharp, stay focused and be ready for, be ready for a, whenever they're called upon in any capacity. Yeah, and obviously we mentioned Mags being out, of course he's kind of in the, the transition to that sort of coach and role of the minutes, so he's taken a lot of that in a, a hands-on side of things, but with Tinks as well being out for the foreseeable future really, what sort of role does he still have to play around the place because he is one of the more experienced members of the squad really as well? Yeah, no, Tinks, um, very experienced, uh, important member of the team. Um, yeah, we definitely already spoke to him saying we need to find a little role for him, um, maybe to help on the coaching side or... Um, with the lads or something, you know, because he's a, he's a type of personality and type of character. He won't want to just be sort of coming in and doing his work and going home. He'll want to be involved, and you know, he's really important for the group because, yeah, he brings a lot of energy, um, brings a lot of discipline, and yeah, he sort of epitomises us uh, us as a club. So as much as we need to support him, make sure he's uh, he's uh, he's fine in what he's doing. We need to help him mentally to keep going over his next few weeks or so. But most important thing is he has the operation. He gets that right. And then once he's settled, we can start integrating him into, into whatever role it may be.